everyone. We were up at six and it's going on seven now. I'm trying to get out of here for the solar farm by 7.30. The windshield. There's a wide range in travel times based on rush hour, anywhere from an hour and 40 to 2.20. So I'm trying to give myself two hours. As promised, tire black. That's right. <laughs> Thank you, Donnie. Good morning. Hi, buddy. How are you? Yep. Good morning. That's my good boy. You guys hunting something down there this morning? Since it's early, somebody didn't go back to sleep yet? I don't know. Stripe seems a little interested and in even Marty's looking. Hi, sweet girl. Good morning. Good morning. You've done so good digging out all your Star Wars shirts. I had to go Tesla today, though. <laughs> um, thanks for getting Ruby ready. Yep. We're all going to miss you today. Yeah. I'm gonna, uh, I rip, trust me. Trust me. <laughs> rather be with y'all. Yeah, I'm sure. This is, um... Tomorrow's the big day, and it's, of course, there's always a million little things left to do. So, the Sterilite storage bins from Walmart and the AMS unit are both coming FedEx today. Oh, so, okay. when the FedEx guy comes, there'll be two big boxes. And Amazon's coming today with a little thing also. Okay. Not supposed to rain until later in the day. Let's hope that's true. Well, it can be cloudy all at once. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. I I'll do what I can to keep Ruby clean, well, but... That's, don't worry about it, sweetie, but it's just, this dust will blow off. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. The that's... inside kitties have tons of food. Okay. But if Big Boy comes and talks to you, he might need you to put just a smattering of new food that's down in the dry chow bowl just yeah. to redirect him that, yeah, buddy, there really is food over here and it all's fresh and smells good and, yep. you know... Makes sense. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> all right, Donnie, I love you. I love you, too. Bye-bye. I used the voice command. Let's see. Yep, out 64, up 95. It's the shortest one hour and 54 minutes. I hate going up this stretch in the morning, but it is what it is. Funny to say she didn't offer me 42 or she didn't offer me to get to 40 and then go up to 95 or whatever, but... All right, it shows me getting there at 9.33. I'm probably not stopping at Halifax on the way in, but we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, well, you got 228 miles. Right, it's more about going to the bathroom than it is about charging the car. That and David said he wanted to charge on the way in and not on the way out. Um, but it really doesn't matter. I might want coffee or something anyway. Who knows? Well, it's super cloudy out here, but who knows what it'll be up near the Virginia border up near Halifax. Um, yeah, it sounds like uh, David's going to get there plenty early, so he'll figure out where we're displaying the cars this time, etc., etc. And so far, so good out here. You know, I have to go through a lot of city streets and congestion before I can get to U.S. Highway 64 East and then 95. Once I get over to 64, I'm good, but there's all the Beltline traffic and the morning commute, and it's just a little tough to get out, out of Raleigh, you know, shoot out the east side of Raleigh to get up there. Even if they had finished the turnpike, it wouldn't have helped me in this situation, I don't believe. I need to go more north than east, and it goes more east uh, on this stretch down here, southern Wake County, so... I don't think that would have helped much. Ruby is driving. I will certainly be letting Ruby do most of the driving today. Well, somehow I managed to gain six minutes and three additional percentage on arrival getting through Raleigh. There was no traffic, no problems. It was easy, so that was good. I signaled for her to get around this guy. I had minimal lane change on. I'd rather tell her when I want to move than have her all over the place. 
she only tried to get over one time coming through town that I wasn't happy about that I canceled out of. I had a couple of disengagements just because I preferred to take over than to, you know, I'm in a hurry today. But she will shine on this part of the journey because I'm on US Highway 64 to I-95 the whole way up there except for the last couple miles on the local road. So she will shine here. Maybe some of these clouds will go away. I'm not expecting it, but it's possible the farther north and east I go. There's a blue Model S behind me, and he hasn't flashed me, but I think it might be Zeb. <laughs> it's actually the first Tesla I've seen out here today, I think. I'll get over in a minute. Identical to Zeb's car. It's a long range blue, very new Model S. Well, the sun is out a little bit now, and that's helping to wake me up. Um, it's in the low 60s, and so far I am making really good time. I haven't picked up any more time, but I haven't lost any time either. My ETA is 9.30 for the solar farm. I'm on a U.S. highway and I just want to say that I am absolutely seeing traffic cones, construction cones. Um, fixing to get on 95 here. There's just a little bit of construction around the, uh, around the exit ramp here. Ruby is really making this drive go smooth today. As I was merging onto 95, this rocket scientist uh, merged over into the right lane from the left lane. It was just stupid. It wasn't close, but it was really stupid. You don't move right, right at the end of an on-ramp. So I'm making really good time. I'm uh, let David know that I'm going to stop at the supercharger so I can use the restroom. Um, just a quick splash and go. I'm not too worried about if I have to stop on the way back out. I mean, I'm only like negligible or minus 2% to get all the way back home without stopping, which I wouldn't try to do, obviously, because Ruby says it's not okay. But I'm just saying I don't need a lot to make it home, and I don't care about coming in at 3% or 5% and there's that supercharger at 4042 that's not very far from the house that you know she could route me to if she really needed to so um, anyway I'm gonna stop I'm gonna use the restroom and I'm gonna leave and whatever she puts in she'll put in I intentionally did not navigate to the supercharger because I didn't want her to waste energy preconditioning the battery I've got, whoa, that person was like not stopping at the stop sign. What is wrong with people? Um, what was I trying to say when the person looked like they were going to hit me? Um, I didn't want her to waste energy preheating the battery. I've got 116 miles. Ruby's not going to do any appreciable fast charging anyway. Um, charging fast wasn't important to me. And that's the only reason why you would preheat. This uh, over here is additional superchargers going in. Um, I've heard some scuttlebutt. I've heard some rumors about it. It's going to, I believe, at least double the size of this um, supercharger, which I think is awesome. I almost didn't pull back far enough, but I'm good to go. I'm back from using the restroom. It's 9.22. Ruby's getting um, 98 kilowatts right now. I know I said I was going to unplug right away, but um, right now it says I'll get there at 9.37, so I really do need to um, 
not stay here long but I'm gonna add in home and then I'm going to <laughs> edit it and put it in the right order you can see that's not fixed yet and so she's figuring out what's going on you know sitting around up there she's not going to use a lot of um, charge trying to figure out what she's telling me so right now she shows me home at 10 percent she says about five minutes to continue my trip so if I would just chill out for five minutes I might not have to stop again and I'd probably prefer to have that option so I'm just gonna breathe it's like she only looks every five minutes I kind of want her to look every minute I saw her put up a message that she was calculating anyway that's good let's go it's 928 I broke my rule about getting out of the car without my telephone. Don't do that, Marianne, just in case the wind pushes the door shut or something. I know I can stay off the interstate, but every single time you leave there, she tells you to turn the wrong way and it's probably faster at interstate speeds. So I had 165 miles when I pulled out. It should be a pretty high efficiency day. That should be plenty to get me back home. I am, uh, you know, less than 15 minutes out from the solar farm. All right, we're here. Apparently they want us in front of the building, so in front of the building is where I'll go. Looks like I get to pull in line either in front of David or behind Bill. I see a white Y and a blue Y. I actually don't think Zeb comes in the same way we do. I don't know why they didn't want us over here today. But they didn't want us over here today. Well, we're set up out here in, on the side of the building. We've done this location before. We've got David and Bill's car over here and mine and Zeb's over on this side. It just worked out that way. That's the order we were in when we pulled up. <laughs> Okay, put your foot on the brake. Oh, oh wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> that parlor trick never gets old. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so hit X on the screen in front of you. Yep, and then hit the car in the lower left that gets you to the control panel. And you girls back up just a smidge and hit the button that has driver underneath it kind of lower left uh -uh. around the car you're gonna open your door you're looking for not that one that one says driver yeah there you go okay who's next I'm good. Okay. You came for the ice cream. I hear that. <laughs> You're welcome. So we've seen these guys before. Um, they do drone school basically for, you know, firefighting and police stuff and emergency management things. And they're here to talk about a course where you can learn how to get licensed to fly a drone for these um, important and commercial type ventures. It's a real serious career now and I'm sure all the linemen and other guys that are usually out here in the back area are here today. All right let's get this party started although with the bus noise you can't hear the music as good. Oh well. <laughs> Please, please don't walk too close. 
Thank you. <laughs> Don't walk too close, please. American flag right through the falcon wings there. Please stay back. Please stay back. Yay, Ruby! <laughs> Your car now? <laughs> That's why I have pin to drive enabled so you can't carry off with her. So, uh, put your foot on the brake. <laughs> yeah, the Model X has self-presenting and closing doors. Yeah, if you cross, so the car icon lower left. Yeah, and that's going to bring up what we affectionately refer to as the door screen. And there's a, but, there's a button there that has driver on it. It's just below the, the round button. The word driver. There you go. So it has regular, it has a regular latch up here. Yep. You can hit close all. There's nobody around the car. Yep, you can hit close all. <laughs> it's like being locked and loaded into your spaceship, right? <laughs> yeah. So the doors, unfortunately, they don't have an open all. I really need an open all, but... You, but you can. Why don't you open up the Falcon Wing doors for me, the middle row? Yeah. Pretty cool, huh? Is your car? It is. It is. Yep. So Zeb has up a Cybertruck made in Texas video on the big screen. Way cool. So the students wanted to know. Here. And a lot of people are saying that, oh, it's so hard. You don't want to have the blinkers on here. It's a, after you get used to them, it's so easy to turn on the blinkers. Yeah, I call it lazy blinkers. You just you can just wiggle your thumb over them. And it turns them on and off. Uh, and this and you step on the brake. And it, well, it have to exit. And then, the, the, the uh, right here it shifts to drive. Oh, that's how you do. Can you show me how you can get it to drive for you? <laughs> well, not with other people around. <laughs> but actually, you know what? So he held it to put it in the park because I've actually not driven one of the cars yet that doesn't have the stalks. Can you, Mary, can you close that door? Sure. Zeb is ready with the uh, game controllers back here. All right, I'm moving away from her. He must be going to summon, I'm pretty sure. Go! Remote control driving. <laughs> fun. Lots of fun. Oh, it's in reverse now. I'm just going to see this person though. So it stopped for the person. Yep, pause for the person. Huh? So Zeb, is this with the actually smart summon update? No. No. no okay. It's in the code, it's just turned off. It's okay. Just a smart okay. Well, yeah, I just. It, because, uh, it has ultrasonic sensors. 
Right. Time number two. The kids are having fun doing their selfie thing in front of the car. <laughs> selfie thing, groove thing. <laughs> you guys know how to have some fun. <laughs> <laughs> you can just stay back okay walk around please so much fun with Ruby. <laughs> One of the students that asked a ton of questions is super excited to be filming it. The light show that is. These girls asked really nice if they could sit in Ruby, and I said, sure. Uh, all right, so hit the close all button. There's nobody near you. You are now locked and ready for launching your starship. <laughs> and you can reopen the doors by pressing the little buttons. Just press the little buttons and it'll reopen them. And I'm looking for you that there's nobody you're going to bump. They should stop anyway, but... You're Can you open my trunk for me too? All right, and now hit the brake pedal. I happen to like that feature. I don't like reaching out for the door. Yeah. This one also opens the driver door when I've been away from it for a few minutes and self presents the door to me. So I, when I got my purse and my coffee and stuff, she's good. So where do we want to go? Where do we want to take off to? Um, <laughs> here, X the, X the stat screen, and then end trip. And then swipe down to get rid of that, uh, the bottom screen. And then in the navigate box, well actually here, press here and say, take me to Walt Disney World. Take me to Walt Disney World. <laughs> Walt Disney World and Resort and hit the up arrow that'll tell her that you accept that she figured out the right spot and she's now calculating your supercharger trips so let's see which city are we going to eat dinner at this afternoon uh, probably Jacksonville Florida at does that say 6 48 p.m. Yes. yeah so we probably gonna well you don't have to touch it or anything but so we probably need a long charge in Jacksonville that'd be where we eat dinner so what she do? She got like four supercharger stops or something. Smithfield, Florence, Ridgeland, Jacksonville, and then you're probably at your resort. Does that work for you? Especially if she's mostly driving. Especially if she's mostly driving you there, right? Because this car does have full self-driving supervised on it. I use it all the time, especially out on the highway. But around town, I... I play with it. I do. She will drive me from my house to like Walmart and back uh, and do it very well. So you're supposed to ask me how far she'll go. And knew this one went 296, but knew this one goes 405. So, but I would say that anything over about 220. Any EV that'll get you about 220 um, is plenty for daily driving around town without having to charge in the middle of your day. <laughs> now, one of the girls asked me before if you could get locked in your Tesla. She saw something on TikTok. Pull on this Chrome button right here. So that's a manual open. 
that is not electric. I mean, yeah, the door actuator kicked in a little bit to bring it out a little bit more, but that's a manual release. So these exaggerated stories on TikTok are not true. <laughs> all the cars, they're not, they don't look the same, but they all have a manual release. Let's um, summon Ruby. <laughs> Girls, stand back just a little bit, okay? She's gonna come. Whoops. Well, that's why the arrow should tell you which way instead of <laughs> just leaving it to chance. I tried to put her in the pond. She was willing to move a minute ago. I told a bunch of people walking too close to her. Play with my car. Go back, Ruby. <laughs> Things are winding down. Um, it's only a little afternoon. The kids are all excited about the free ice cream. And the people around back are starting to pack up. I never got back there because there was just that many people to talk to. So it's 1.25. I just pulled out of the old airport. Um, 106 miles, an hour and 55 minutes. I've got 146 miles range. Ruby's currently saying I'll get home at 12%. Hopefully she won't switch that up. I'm going to go with, um, I'm going to be good. <laughs> I don't mind if I pull in at five. I'd really rather not pull in at two though. Kyle. <laughs> it was a good time today. A little smaller crowd than the fall outing. Um, they were pleased with us for coming. I think the kids had a good time. We talked to several adults. Obviously, the adults are deeper questions and potential sales for Tesla, so it's all, it's all good. Probably not going to have rain in the area at home until like 4 o'clock or something, so I should be home sometime after 3. I'm probably going to stop at either Walmart or Food Lion. So that'll add a little bit to it, but I'll play the weather by ear and if it's going to be raining, I'll just head straight to the house and if I've got plenty of sunshine left, I'll stop. Don needs pork rinds from Food Line, <laughs> so I'd like to stop and get those for him. Zeb always saves the day coming with our big um, Triangle Owner Tesla Group Club canopy. Really appreciate it. is a lot more crowded on the way home. I don't think there'll be any really good cruising speeds. Maybe after I get on 64. So that's a Toyota BZ4X. It was coming up behind me and I'm like, God, that looks like that must be an EV. You know, the whole the signaling about how the styling is done. And 
and um, yeah, sure enough. I stopped at the Walmart in Zebulon. I was getting pretty sleepy even with extra caffeine. And um, wow, this cart doesn't want to go straight. I need some super glue to put my skeleton together this weekend. And Don needs pork rinds, I'll just get a bag here. Well, I got what I went for and one fancy begonia plant. That's how it is this time of year. Get what you need, buy a plant. <laughs> Get what you need, buy some sort of plant paraphernalia, garden stuff. It's the season for that. So my time home now is uh, 4.05 p.m. I don't know how long I walked around in there. Um, not a super long time. Maybe it was a 30 minute stop. I also used the restroom. Because I've been drinking a lot of beverage in the car. The left lane here is blocked because the left turn lane itself onto Old Stage Road is backed out into the highway. Wow, what a mess. It is not fun coming through Garner right now. It's only 3.45 p.m. Hardly quote-unquote rush hour. I don't know if that was an accident or what was going on there. Might have been, or a disabled vehicle. Yeah, wow. I am not making good time. I have lost, um, I would say 15 minutes. It's been rough since I got off of 40. Oh, wow. I am shaking. This GMC pickup truck came up behind me at 55 mile an hour and he didn't see that the traffic was stopping. And thank God I went a little left and he went off into the shoulder. And he slowed up, but he was gonna be a couple feet short. That was really scary when you can see him coming. If he didn't head for the shoulder, I was gonna head for the shoulder, but us both heading for the shoulder wasn't gonna be the right answer. He just, he just wasn't paying attention. It's really scary. I hit the dash cam, but we'll call that a good, a good, um, a good miss. I don't know why we're backed up this far. I can only assume it's the construction at this intersection up here. Um, yeah, it was not good coming home right at this particular time. Of course, I... I stopped and lost 30 minutes, but it's, it's never a good time out here on 401 anymore, coming in and out of Fuqua. It's basically not safe out here in this, this all construction all the way to Raleigh. Well, basically, I need to remind myself that I just don't want to come through that intersection any more often than I have to. Um, there's a couple of ways to like go up Lake Wheel or, or something coming out of town and get cut back over to 401 or something. There's a, you know, it's not good ways around it, but there's ways around it. So I'm coming into Fuquay and this is obviously the rear camera. Let me get just a little bit closer. Um, I'm afraid to speed it up any because I'll miss it. Yeah. Well, I appreciate him going off into the shoulder. I'd have appreciated it more if he'd, uh, Pay just a little bit better attention to what he was doing. I do wish for more granularity here. Yeah, we're just, you know, coming into Fuqua. You can... Things appear to be, you know, going okay here. weird what it how it jumps around well thanks for going off in the shoulder wow look at the pollen <laughs> it's crazy just when we get over one type of tree pollen we have another type come down and it's pretty significant 
I'm gonna go sit with Gray in a minute and um, do yesterday's video. I feel like I'm going to be asleep, but <laughs> it is what it is. But I couldn't go the whole day without any Tux TLC or getting his picture. All the kitties are here doing good. I guess my neighbor's gonna mow. I get it. Gray's just going crazy in here. She's been on top of me and pushing her head into my mouth and my head and she's purring and she's making biscuits and yeah. I think it might be fair to say that video editing is her favorite hour of the day. <laughs> hey baby girl. Hi.